Hello. So, ang topic natin today is special products pa rin, pero cube of a binomial. So, kung meron, ito yung general formula ng ating binomial and gusto natin siyang i-cube. So, paano siya magiging ganito? So, meron tayong apat na rules. So, una, cube the first term. Pangalawa, tries the product of the square of the first term and the second term. Pangatlo, tries the product of the first term and square of the second term. And last, cube the last term. Okay. So, gamitin naman natin ngayon yung apat na rules. So, sabi sa unang rule, cube the first term. So, eto ang ating first term, and i-cube natin siya. Cube ng x ay x cube. Then, second rule. So, 3 times the product of the square of the first term and the second term. So, 3 times the product of square ng first term lang, tandaan, first term lang, ang i-square, then, yung last term. So, ito ay magiging 3x squared y. Paano naman yung sign nito? So, sabi dito sa formula, kung ano ang sign nito ng ating general uh, formula, yun din na magiging sign ng second term. So, since positive to, positive din dapat to. Next. So, 3 times the product naman ng first term and square ng second term. So, 3 times the product of the ter first term, then, square naman natin yung second term. So, second term lang naman dito. Then, ano magiging sign nito? So, sabi dito, positive. So, laging positive yung third term natin. So, magiging positive 3xy squared. And yung last, cube the last term. So, ito yung ating last term. Ang cube niya is y cube. So, ano naman kanya magiging sign? So, kung anong nakalagay dito, yun ang magiging sign niya. And since kung dito, gagawin natin na positive, so positive din siya. So, kaya pag pinagsama-sama natin to magiging x cube plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cube. Okay, so try naman natin tong example na to. So, sa pagsusolve ng cube of a binomial, tingnan natin lagi kung tama ba yung structures or structure nung equation. So, tingnan natin kung itong equation na to is nagpa-follow dun sa general equation para magamit natin tong cube of a binomial. So, tingnan natin. So, first term and then separated by sign, then second term and meron din siyang cube. Okay, so ibig sabihin to ay binomial siya na kailangan i-cube. So, para i-solve yan, expand natin, gamitin natin yung rule. So, una, cube the first term. So, ang cube ng 2x ay 8x cube. Next, kopyahin natin yung sign. Kasi kung anong sign nito, yun din na maging sign ng second term. So, positive. Then, 3 times the product of square ng first term. Ang square nito ay, ng 2x ay 4x squared times 5. Then, laging positive naman ang sign ng third term. Then, 3 times ulit, the product of the first term and square naman ng second term. So, ang square ng 5 is 25. Then, so kung anong sign naman nito, yun ang magiging sign ng last term. And cube ng 5 is 125. So, pagsamasamayin na natin, so, itong equation na to ay magiging 8x cube plus 60x squared plus 150x plus 
25. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay, try naman natin tong example number 2. So, 3a squared minus 2b quantity cube. Tingnan ulit natin kung itong binomial na to ay pasok dun sa general equation para maging cube of a binomial. So, ito ating first term, separated by sign, and then second term, and cube. Okay, so pwede na natin siyang i-cube. So, first rule ulit is cube the first term. So, ang cube nito is 27a to the 6. Then, kung ano yung sign nito, siya yung magiging sign ng second term. So, minus tries the product of square ng first term times second term. Then, positive ulit. Tries the product ulit ng first term and square naman ng second term. And last, so kung anong sign nito, yun ang magiging sign ng last term, minus cube ng 2b is 8b cube. So pwede na natin siyang pagsamahin. So ito ay magiging 27a to the 6 minus 54a to the 4th b plus 36 a squared b squared minus 8 b cubed.